Airplane. Airplane is a 1980 American film. The film is a parody of the disaster film genre. Its exact setting is never directly said during the film, but the culture generally mimics the normal culture of the late 70s and early 80s. Ted Stryker, the main character of this film, is an ex-fighter pilot who fought in an unnamed war and had a very traumatic experience while serving. This experience left him with a horrible fear of flying in planes. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a mental health condition that's triggered by a terrifying event. Symptoms may include re-experiencing the event through flashbacks, nightmares, or intrusive thoughts, avoidance of certain places, people, or thoughts, and hyperarousal, which can be seen as an exaggerated startle reflex, difficulty sleeping, or generally being on edge. The term post-traumatic stress disorder came into use in the 1970s in large part due to the diagnoses of U.S. military veterans of the Vietnam War. It was officially recognized by the American Psychiatric Association in 1980. Assuming the film takes place in 1980 America, PTSD was still a very new term. The culture then did not have the same understanding we do today, so people weren't as openly accepting of it. While Ted Stryker very well could have received a diagnosis, it would have been treated differently than in today's times. While PTSD has been observed as a universal phenomenon, not all cultures treat it the same way. Some people believe the source of the disorder was not in fact an external traumatic event, but simply some form of internal imbalance. Unfortunately, there are some stigmas surrounding PTSD. Despite the official recognition, many people do not take it seriously as a disease. People who suffer from PTSD have often been told, why can't you just get over it, or you don't look sick. The first of the two symptoms Ted Stryker displays is re-experiencing through flashbacks and avoidance. Ted's flashbacks are shown several times throughout the movie, and consists of both visual imagery of warplanes in combat, as well as auditory imagery of planes flying and crashing noises. Ted also displays avoidance of planes, which he heavily associates with the traumatic experiences he had. He tells Elaine, I haven't been able to get near a plane since the war. There are also several moments where the film shows past events in the lives of Ted and Elaine, many of which Ted shows blatant avoidance of change, finding ways to stay away in the army. On the other hand, there is limited evidence of hyper-arousal in Ted Stryker. He experiences great tension and anxiety while boarding the plane, but once the plane takes off, he seems to regain his composure. He's very comfortable talking openly with strangers and exhibits little signs of aggression, no signs of an exaggerated startle reflex, and no evidence or mention of any difficulty sleeping. Various studies have proven therapeutic methods such as cognitive behavioral therapy and prolonged exposure therapy to be the most effective methods of treatment for PTSD. These methods generally work better than the use of medications as this is entirely caused by an external experience and is not caused by any sort of chemical imbalance in the brain. At one point in the film we see Ted in a hospital. Judging by the behaviors of the other patients, it's not too far-fetched to guess it may be a psychiatric hospital. However, as the term and diagnosis is new in the culture of this film, it would have been difficult for Ted to receive proper treatment. Even if he was able to get a proper diagnosis and treatment, it would have not have been as thorough or effective as today's standards. It's obvious that the portrayal of Ted's PTSD is highly dramatized and exaggerated in order to make it more entertaining to audiences, as it is a comedic film. However, this doesn't make the representation of the symptoms entirely inaccurate. It shows how disorders such as PTSD can damage relationships, and it shows examples of specific symptoms. For a film that came out when PTSD was a new term, Airplane does a fine job of representing the disorder, even if it is highly exaggerated for comedic effect. Psychological order disorders being displayed in films is generally very, very beneficial for society, as long as the film does not demonize those who suffer from psychological disorders, shows at least a mostly accurate portrayal of the disorder, spreads awareness of specific psychological disorders, and make specific terms related to psychological disorders less taboo.